Peace, Wayne here. Um, 29 October 2016, I bought a uh, Typhoon H uh, drone with a uh, real sense. It cost originally $1,800. Uh, I got it on sale for $1,499 at Best Buy. Um, yeah, I, I, it's an awesome drone. When it's flying, it, it's great. I mean, I prefer it over all other drones. However, I had some problems. I had a flyaway with it. Um, I live in the Czech Republic with my wife and my kids. When I bought it, I was visiting in New York. <clears throat> so I bought it, and I before I flew the drone, I watched many um, videos on YouTube about flying the drone, you know, because I was nervous about flying it. Um, because I can't fly the airplanes, so I just don't have the dexterity for it and whatnot, uh, for the controls. Uh, however, to fly the drone is completely different, completely. Um... It's so simple to fly it. Um, <clears throat> I need to quit saying, um, <laughs> sorry about that. So, um, there I go again. The uh, drone. I had a flyaway, but uh, that was here in Europe. I, I flew home on the 2nd of December from New York to Prague, <clears throat> stopping off in Paris. I brought the, I've got the carry case, the backpack that came with it. I used it as a carry-on. No problems at all uh, to take it on the plane with as a carry-on. <clears throat> I had three batteries, one inside the drone and one in each of the, uh, where the, the slots where they go. All I did was I took a piece of electrical tape and I put it over the ends uh, where the connectors are so that nothing could short them out. That's the main problem with these batteries catching fire is something shorts them out. People throw them in their bags or whatever or, and something shorts them out and they catch on fire. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's how I managed that. And But the thing is, it went through the uh, security scan. Now whether that had anything to do with it or not, I have no idea. They say no. Um, so... Before flying the drone in the States, I calibrated it several times like I was supposed to, and the telemetry box, the black box as they call it, recorded all that. Well, shortly after I, I arrived here in December, on December 3rd I arrived, I flew the drone uh, three or four times, and uh, I did the calibration before each time. Um, I drove to my friend's house, which is, uh, I don't know, 30 minutes away. And because it's a distance away, I also did a calibration. And I flew it. It didn't have any problems. I brought it back here to my home by the uh, skate park to fly it. Did calibration again. I flew the drone. No problems. I realized I forgot to put the SD card in. And uh, um, the, so I flew it to the battery, got low. And then I brought it back down, landed it, put the SD card in, switched out the battery. And I took it up again to fly it again. And then all of a sudden there was no control. I couldn't control it. Nothing. I tried to return to home everything you could imagine to bring it back home. And it, it just kept rising up slowly. And then it flew off to the right. And then it crashed. I'm happy that, I mean, I was a well enough distance away from houses and stuff. But if it had kept flying, it could have flown into somebody's house in a distance. So I'm happy it didn't damage anybody's property or anything like that. It just damaged my drone. It ripped the camera off completely. It um, broke all the propellers. It broke three of the uh, arms that flip up for the with the rotors. Uh, one motor ripped off completely. Uh, one landing gear leg completely broke off. Um, what else? Well, it did make a loud, it was making a loud beeping sound so that I could find it. So it has that feature so you can find your drone. Um, <clears throat> so anyways, I'm thinking because Unique in Germany says to me they cannot repair the drone or replace it because it doesn't fall under warranty 
because I bought it in the United States. And they said it's not legal for me to fly that drone here that I bought in the United States. I wish somebody had told me that before I brought, bought it and brought it here. I would have bought one here. But they failed to tell me that. So unique, it might be a good idea, if anybody of you is watching this video, to uh, fix that problem. That make it known that the drones bought in the United States are not legal to fly in Germany or Czech Republic or European countries. Okay? <clears throat> so, um, if that's the case, well, they're telling me that the firmware is way out of date, so it's the original firmware. So, if, if that's the case, then that's probably why the telemetry did not record any of the calibrations that I did here because the technician said I didn't uh, do any calibrations here. That's the first reason they said they wouldn't cover it, um, that I had to buy a new one. They said they won't cover it because I didn't do any calibrations. I said I did do calibrations. My son is my witness and the God is my witness. I did calibrations like I was supposed to. <clears throat> Something caused the drone telemetry to not record the calibrations. I don't know what, because I'm not a technician. I'm not a scientist. I'm the one, not the one who created or uh, made this drone. So they mailed it back to me. They gave me um, an option to, for another one, but I don't have the money to buy another one. They want me to buy another one. My only option is to send it back to uh, Unique in Ontario, California, because Best Buy won't take it back because it's already damaged. So I'm screwed out of fifteen hundred dollars either way you look at it unless unique stands good by me and replaces my drone it was not my fault that it crashed i could fly the drone with no problem in safety um so other than that i hope unique will replace this drone but my message to all of you out there, drone lovers that's watching this, <clears throat> it is a good drone, but dealing with a company is another issue. And I will make another video to let you know the outcome of this, how uh, Unique handles this, this situation, this case, with my flyaway drone, and being uh, that it's not legal for it to fly here in Europe and whatnot, <clears throat> and not knowing that. So... Um, uh, we'll see what happens, which will depend on how how good the video is going to be in reference to uh, the sale of drones by Unique and whatnot. I would prefer to give Unique a uh, a good review for their drones to help them with more sales and whatnot. So, let's see. As of right now, I mean, don't be afraid to afraid to buy the Unique. Um, H but just be aware that if you have any issues with it crashing first make sure when you buy it make sure that your firmware is up to date they don't tell you that they don't tell you to make sure your firmware is up to date um, make sure you do your calibrations if you can watch a video on YouTube there's People out there that do the reviews, they show you exactly how to do the calibrations. Make sure you do your calibrations. And before you fly your drone, make sure that somebody makes a video of you doing the calibrations for that drone. Okay? And flying the drone for the first time. Because if it does do a flyaway, you have proof. I don't have proof. They're trying to tell me that I didn't do calibrations, but I did. Alright? So that, I'm not going to, I don't want to. Keep going over and over, reiterating about that. <clears throat> Thank you all for watching my my uh, video about the uh, crashed Typhoon H. Um, hopefully, this can get resolved, and Unique will replace my drone. So, with all that being said, uh, peace out to everybody. Thanks for watching.